Welcome to the Automation Show, I'm Joey Keller. Uh, this is going to be a very short part. I just would like to talk to you guys about the double opt-in campaigns. I had a double opt-in campaign video a couple months ago and there were a bunch of questions regarding is it possible to do a double opt-in faster? So the poor contact doesn't have to wait until the system goes through all the cron jobs needed to fire up the email and check if the page was visited or the link was clicked and so on. Today I'm going to show you a couple of other ways how you can do basically immediate double opt-in campaign with Modic. Let's dig in. Okay, so let's sum up uh, how we did the uh, double opt-in campaign in the previous video and let's see what's the problem with it and how can we fix that. So the double opt-in is basically someone fills out the form and at the end of this process this person becomes a double opt-in tag or a double opt-in um, custom field, maybe emotic. And that probably starts another campaign or download of some kind of asset or content. Uh, when this person filled out the video, I mean the form, then they will automatically get an email. They open the email and visit a page by clicking on a confirmation link. We check if they visited this this uh, this page or whether they clicked on the on the link and set um, the double opt-in um, tag or custom field for this person. Now this is not perfect and the reason is if you are running your cron not every minute so let's say every five minutes and you're running your crons different cron every five minutes it can happen that the whole process takes like 25 minutes and that's not acceptable I did notice that because I'm running my crons every minute all the crons and if you would like to know how I'm doing that I have a tutorial on my website about it so essentially what happens is here is that if you're running your cron uh, um, every five minutes let's say and you have your send your email send also like every five minutes then the person already here has to wait five minutes if you're not using queue but it's immediate then it's great so then this happens automatically then you have segments update and campaign update then you, we will, the person goes into a campaign in order for us to check at all if this person has um, already uh, visited the page. You can of course push them into, into the campaign and segment automatically. That's, that's one of your options as well. You can do that. But you're not really saving time here. And anyway, well, when you check this, uh, if someone uh, already uh, uh, clicked uh, or opened this page, it will again consume two cron jobs and you have to wait again 10 minutes until everything is is uh, uh, going through so altogether you would wait about 25 minutes with all these little steps and with all these steps where you push the person forward in the funnel um, there is a better way to do this uh, I'm gonna show you what my plan is I actually tested this out it's working really well and we talked about this in the comment of uh, comment section in the end of the other video and it's really great if you guys giving me some feedback because if there is other way to do something which is better then let's do it together uh, as soon as possible and put a video online about that so uh, this is our current situation and we would like to be somewhere here so um, we send out the email again if we are using Q I suggest you run it every minute because that's a uh, that's an in, that's independent from from the other uh, crons you can safely run it um, independently and uh, the rest of the the task will not use any crons basically the person opens the email visits the page and here on the page we will set a little JavaScript or WordPress slug depending on your system which automatically sets the double opt-in for this person so no more waiting in order to do that we're gonna need a form with a send email to contact action and we're gonna need a thank you page where we're setting the tag right away uh, this is a slug but I will show you also how to do it with the JavaScript okay let's build Okay, so let's create our confirmation email first. Um, I opened a new email here and I did a simple confirmation email. Um, just subject, 
double opt-in confirmation and so on. It's really simple email. I didn't change anything. Only has one link inside. And this link is, in my case, just goes to my page saying, thank you, welcome aboard. That's the page where I want to bring the person to. That's it. Oh, that's all what my email does. Great. So let's go back to our forms once. Okay, let's save this. And let's go back to our forms. This is my form here. Um, I just call it automatic double opt-in. I created two fields, email and name, really not fancy. And in the actions, I connected it with my confirmation email. So somebody fills this out, the confirmation process starts. And now here comes the trick. We're going to go to my WordPress and see what we do with that page, which will automatically turn on the double opt-in. Uh, before we do that, I would like to visit for a moment the WP Modic plugins documentation. So this is how the, the, the plugin looks like. Now, here's the thing. It's going to give you some shortcode examples. But that's not all the shortcodes. And many people don't know. Let's go to the plugin documentation. OK, so this is the script it's using. This is the custom attributes. OK, great. And if you go a little bit more down, this is what we need. So you can actually add tags just by adding tag and then your tag here. So let's open the page, your our thank you page, and add this tag for every visitor. OK, so this is the page I created. Thank you and welcome aboard. And I'm setting here this double opt-in tag. So if someone is double opt-in, they would have this tag in my system. Anyone who visits this page will get the double opt-in tag, but I am using this only for, for double opt-in purposes. So there's no other way for anyone to come here. Uh, that's why the whole thing will work. Uh, I think uh, we should test it out now. So for testing, I uh, visited in my um, Edge browser, I visited uh, the main page. So I can see that someone was visiting this main page from my Edge browser. The person doesn't have a confirmation yet, but I wanted to open this because I wanted to make sure that we have some kind of tracking going on here and that this person is already uh, acquired the, the tracking cookie. So as a next step, we're going to run a um, the PHP version of this script. And I'm going to show you how that looks like. So I'm just going to make confirmation page PHP. As you can see, it contains really nothing, just a text confirmation page. Uh, maybe I can add here a title as well that we have some kind of um, title on the top. And this way it would be also visible in Modic later when we do the tracking. So title, and I'm going to call this PHP conf. Confirmation. Let's visit the confirmation page uh, PHP. So the script and what it's going to do is that I will have the email address already embedded and that email address will light up real nice and bring it back to our modic. So when I refresh, the, refresh this page after visiting that confirmation, I supposed to have here a beautiful email already. So this is really cool. So now let's try to add the tag as well to this uh, confirmation page. So we're going to enlarge this code with uh, the, the, the possibility to add the tag as well. So here we're going to add and tags equals double opt-in. Let's save it, upload, and visit the page again. And reload our page here. So what happened here is, oh, I made a mistake. I don't need these actually, sorry. Let's upload it again and visit the page one more time. And then when I refresh this, then I have the right double opt-in tag here. 
so this is the right format without the quotations okay this is pretty cool so this is how we need to um, add the double opt-in tag and how we are harvesting the email address with PHP let's see the other way when we do it with JavaScript okay let's do it now another way so how can we uh, invoke that um, tracking event which would add the double opt-in tag or maybe even the email address to our contact so for that we need to change uh, things a little bit um, what we need is that in the confirmation email we would add the email address as well so we have that already that's really cool because we are capturing it in the form so we can put at the end of the email simply the link and then question mark email equals contact field uh, email this part here this will be filled out from uh, Modic so your whole link will look like your uh, confirmation page dot whatever let's say HTML question mark email equals and so on so that's one that that's one of the requirements what we have to do and then on the other side we need to capture this um, information on the confirmation page we can do it either with a uh, JavaScript and I will give you the exact uh, script and also show it to you where I got it from or PHP that's a very simple one here we will use just a, a tracking uh, GIF and once we do that then either the tracking GIF or the JavaScript tracking will set everything up so let's see how that really looks like For the JavaScript, I have a little bit different tag. Uh, I mean, uh, script. It's all HTML, which is really, really cool. So if you don't have the chance to work with PHP, then you can work with HTML. You can take this part of the script is getting the URL parameters and trying to grab the email parameter and add the email here. And we are also adding the double opt-in tag like this. So let's create another contact i'm gonna delete this guy visit again and then we're gonna visit the javascript confirmation page okay so i have again uh, a new contact who haven't been to the website yet and i'm gonna load this confirmation page so what we expect to happen is that uh, we're trying to grab the email parameter from the link and also add the double opt-in tag and let's see if I have the right so I'm gonna give the email address will be uh, javaconf okay so let's visit that page and let's see what we have here when we update so we see that the person's email address was filled out and we have the double opt-in tag as well this is exactly what we wanted so I'm gonna put all these scripts in the download area so if you registered by me already on my website you can simply go to your download area and you're gonna find it together uh, with the other downloads which I created in the past months uh, and you can just download it and change it according to your needs Thank you so much for watching. I hope everything was understandable. If you have any questions, just uh, write it in the comments. I will try to answer or make even one more follow-up video if needed. Or if anything, change it with Mori. You can expect me to create another double opt-in campaign very soon. Uh, anyway, please register on my website, joykeller.com. All the downloadable materials will be there in your very own download folder. The registration is for free. If you would like to support me, you can do that by buying one of my courses. You can find them under the course menu on my website. Thanks for watching. Keep automating. If you would like to support me, you can buy me buy If you would like to support me, you can buy one of my courses.